Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I have to get back to the office now. All right. Without answering my question. Ross has already answered about a thousand questions today, and I promised him he'd be back in his office within an hour. Please don't make a liar out of me. I wouldn't dream of it, but I'm sure you've got time for a few words in my office. Holly, I have not. If you leave, I will tell everyone what I know about your so-called victory right now, right out loud. Is that what you want? Obviously, Roger wasted no time cluing you in. I just want you to admit that I warned you. Mm -hmm. Which warning is this? There have been so many. About Blake being expensive. And I didn't mean she'd be nagging you for a diamond bracelet. All you want to do is find 500 reasons to say, I told you so. Now, what is that going to accomplish? It's very good for me. I get to think back and to recall this self-righteous protest of yours that I was incapable of understanding what true love was. I get to compare that proud suitor to what stands before me now. Terrible, I know, but oh, it feels so good. So does sucking your thumb, but most people grow out of it. If you're accusing me of being childish, Ross, I would re-examine what does it mean to jeopardize a lifelong dream for a girl, a girl young enough to be your daughter, a girl I'll bet you're growing tired of. You have no idea what my feelings are for Blake. And that scares you, so you want to put them in a safe little box so they don't jump up and bite you. Are you going to tell me you don't despise her just a little bit for taking your fate and playing God with it? No. I would never despise Blake. Never. Anyway, hate, I leave to you. You think this is going to be one desperate act and that's over? No, Ross. There will be others. She lives to control, just like Roger. She tried it with me. She's tried it with you. She's trying it with Roger. Did you know she's in his office right now? So what if she is? Let's see what she's saying to him. It goes something like, um... I know how much you were hoping that Ross wouldn't win. And then he'll say... It means a lot to me to know that you understand. I just want everybody to be happy. All the people that I care about. being torn in so many different directions. I mean, one minute I'm, I'm bursting with joy for Ross, and, and the next I uh, can't help but think how terribly let down you must feel. Your plans for the towers and all that bone-breaking work for nothing. That pretty much covers it. Well, when I was trying to sleep last night, I... I couldn't help but think that maybe there are some unexpected benefits in this for you. You'll forgive me if I tell you that that sounds very much like wishful thinking. Well, no, listen. Part of the reason that Ross has always gotten in the way is that he's here. All the issues that put you at odds are here. Mother and, and me, and whatever. But when Ross goes to Washington, all that will dissipate. He'll have much larger issues to concern himself with than whether or not you put up a few buildings in Springfield. You may feel freer than you felt in years. Unless you go with him. What? Well, this tremendous liberation that I'm supposed to feel when Ross gets out of town, won't it be slightly marred if he takes you with him? Well, Ross and I haven't really discussed my going yet. Please. I have eyes. I watched you watching him at the party. I know. I know you saw me. And I'm not going to hide the fact that now that the election's over, I want to start seeing him again. Daddy, I won't lie to you. I probably would go to Washington if Ross asked me. But he's going to be so busy, and, and when he's busy, I'll be back here. Just hanging out. I'll probably be here two weeks out of every month. You're not going to get rid of me that easily. Gotta hand it to you, Chrissy. You certainly developed a knack for putting a good face on things. Not everything. No. Not everything. But we can't expect miracles, can we? <laughs>